I'll say probably around like this season last year, you know, um, I was just getting the extra work with Coach Riley. You know, he's telling me good things. Coach Nua, I've been watching film with him, and then my scout team coach too, Coach Kyle. He's just telling me how to get better. You know, I've been taking the advice and doing better every day. Was there one moment where you just felt like the light switch was on? Um, I'll probably say around like UCLA week. I was like, I was doing really good on scout team. And I almost was about to go to, um, you know, a regular team. But um, they kept me on scout team, you know. I just continued to get better. What position have you been at? Spring, I've been at pre tech and I've been at the Still been back and forth, back and forth with freshman. When you took that break from, from football, from that guy's school, what, what brought you back? I'm talking about um, to the... in high school? Yeah. Oh, um, you know, my older brother, he's – big football guy you know he's been telling me for a couple years now I should get out here to play football and at first I wasn't with it but like I realized that you know with my size being tall as I am my length I can just get out here and listen to what he has to tell me and I got a lot of great mentors they tell me what to do and I listen to them and I put my eye on head first I just went to work. What led you to take the break on the first place? Um, it's not, nothing really I just got into another sport I just started playing basketball and that was my life so. So when did you return to football? Um, my senior year of high school. Okay. Well, yeah. Do you feel like you're kind of raw because of that? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've noticed it since when I first came here. Like a lot, a lot was different. You know, like there's some similarities, but a lot is different, definitely. But I just been working. You know, doing the best I can, and getting the coaches. So. Anything this... that took you a while to just sort of get the hang of, in particular. Excuse me. Anything that took you a while to get the hang of, just um, because you hadn't had that experience. I'll say probably. Working my hands because you know basketball, you know, use hands a lot. So my hands um, and my staff. Really, I think the roster said you gained 30 pounds since last season. Is that accurate? Yeah, I did. Actually, when I came in here, uh, I was around 230. And then um, off season came by and I was around 260. How'd that happen? So, working with Coach Riley. Coach Riley getting in the gym, you know, extra lifting, running and stuff like that. Yeah. How much of a difference have you noticed with that, that extra um, mass? A lot more strength, definitely. Um, I'd say my speed kind of went down a little bit, but I got it back uh, to where it should be. When this staff took over, there, there was a lot of transition in that recruiting class. What did they set for you as kind of the goal and trajectory bringing you in and, and what they could do with you here? They just told me that I need to develop a lot more. Um, you know, it was, it was hard for me at first just to get used to it, but... Um, I just listen to everything I have to tell you. You know, things are going good. I've been trusting them, and they have a lot of trust in me, so, yeah. You were one of the few commits from the previous staff that stayed on. Were you worried about where things stood once the staff was hired? Um, I was, yeah, but once I got on the call with Coach Riley, he told me everything was good, so I just stuck it and stuck it on him. Are there linemen here that, that you've kind of stuck to and, and watched? and? Linemen? Yeah. Like, all linemen are doing. Yeah, teammates. Oh, yeah. Um... So a lot of guys, actually, Jonah Monheim, he also went a lot. Didich, Justin Didich, Tuli last year, uh, Brandon Peely, guys like that, solo now. Yeah. What do you think is possible for you this year? Um, shoot. Right now I'm just taking as slow as I can. I want to do everything that coach needs me to do, and I just want to see how it goes. What, what's that about the way Benny Wiley worked with you to kind of get that way put on, build you up? What's his approach? Um, he he had kind of had a, like a plan for me. So like when I first got here, he told me like my potential, and I didn't see it at first. So he told me that he worked with guys like me before, and he just put me on this plan, and I just listened to it, and I got like you know. Was it intense? Yeah, definitely, sure. A lot of hard work, a lot of after hours. Sure. When you say guys like me, what do you mean? Um, guys that he worked with before at like OU, like um, NFL prospects, guys like that. Is it kind of weight room stuff, or is it food and yeah, and all, all of that? So I've been getting my nutritionist, uh, Miss Rachel. So Coach Wiley tells me to go with her. I get with her. And, uh, we just put it. We coordinate it all with working out. So. What's a day look like in, in terms of calorie intake and food and stuff? Sure, I don't. I don't know exactly. But I mean, like um, I have this. I have the schedule, and I have to eat at the same time every day. Given that you returned to play your senior year, got late in the recruiting process, what was your recruitment like at high school? Um, so my first game, I got a couple offers. It was all my first game. And I just put on a little bit of film a bit after that. I got around like 15 offers, I would say. But shoot, I always wanted to come to SC no matter what. And my mom liked it. Everybody liked it for me, so I just came. What, what did you do in that first game that you picked up those offers? Shoot, a lot of like just showing my athleticism. Um, 
being tall, you know, speed, and stuff like that. Power, yeah. One more here. Where have you felt the biggest jump from when you got here to where you are now this spring? I'll say my power. Power. And a lot of um, the coaches, a lot of coaches talking to me, and they see my potential. So 